Ron Carr here at the Fender event with Tyler Bryant. Holy crap, man. Nice set, dude. You guys you. rocked it, man. Thank Killed it. Yeah, man. It was, it was a really fun evening, you know, for a kind of a semi-corporate event. Yeah. It was pretty loose. Yeah. Let's, Let's talk it. about the amps, man, the Tone Masters. What do you think? Well, so I got a call from um, my Fender rep, Ben, yesterday. Yeah. And he said, you have to come to my office. And he wouldn't tell me why. Yeah. And he said, I want you to play through this new amp, the one that I want you to play through tomorrow. And he didn't tell me that there were no tubes in it because he knew I wouldn't drive to his office if he told me that. <laughs> right. Um, right. And so I played through it, and I, I was like, yeah, it sounds sick. You know, what do you want me to say? It sounds like a, I've never been picky about Fender tube amps, like a Princeton or a Hot Rod DeVille. Like, if you, if you can play, you can get what you need out of it. It doesn't matter. Like a Blues Junior, a Vibra King, a Twin, like, I've never geeked out on what tubes were in an amp. As long as it's like a Fender tube amp, if we're doing a backline scenario, right. I know it'll work. Right. Um, so... Then he goes, pick up, pick it up. And I lifted it, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, you just tricked me, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, right. And I, I knew as soon as I picked it up that there was no tubes or, you know, yeah. it, was, it was so light. Yeah. Um, I'm a believer. It's, uh, you know, otherwise I wouldn't have played it tonight. I w if, I didn't, if I didn't think it sounded sick, I would have brought some amps. With, yeah, clearly, You know, man. with some tubes. And, uh, but I think, especially, like, we're at Third Man Records in the Blue Room right. tonight. Right. And... Uh, Everyone's set up really tight together. And so the drums right next to the amps, you know, um, I mic'd up the twin and then on the deluxe, I took the direct out. Nice. So I didn't mic it up because I, I was listening to it in the in-ears and mm -hmm. it sounds amazing. And, you, and so the front of house guy all of a sudden then has a microphone and a clean Fender tube amp sound. Mm -hmm. I, th I thought it was cool. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was great, man. And I got to say, that's a pretty uh, bold move. Come out and do your set on stage with totally strange foreign amps. It's a new technology you don't know yeah. anything about, man. And you guys, again, you guys yeah. killed it. It sounded well, great. But. It was a, you know, the amps were new and then the new Vintera series. I'd never played those before. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, but that, that went cool, too. And, yeah. you know, yeah. I like yeah. it. I, yeah. I think it's great to have amps and guitars that kids can hopefully afford. I'm so like, I get so bummed out with when companies have the prices be so high that the generation that we have to count on to carry rock and roll forward can't even buy a decent guitar. It's like, it's good for kids to be able to buy a guitar like that telly I was playing tonight. I never played it. Yeah. You know, I don't know how much it's going to be, but um, I can't imagine they're going to be ridiculous. No. Because I think back to when I was a kid, yeah. you know, and looking at the Sweetwater catalog and going, oh, I could do that if I sell this and if yeah. I sell this. Yeah. And, like, that's what it's about. It's about finding ways for kids to get their hands. And, like, I think the deluxe that I was playing through is, like, under a grand or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is crazy, man. And those guitars are, too. And, you know, Fender is really good talking about that fender seems to be really good across the board about bringing great stuff at low prices man some of their yeah. entry level stuff is like wow i wish i had that guitar when i was starting i out. mean some of you the know? guitars that i started out with were like you know they were mexican strats they were yeah. you know i got some of the japanese stuff and yeah. and they're, they're guitars that i still play yeah absolutely. you know and i still have man. absolutely so. great stuff for sure man yeah i mean i've got a uh Got an 87 American Standard that I bought brand new. Yeah. I played three sets of frets off of it, you know, so it's wow. like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have an old Texas Special Strat that yeah. I got from Mars Music. Oh, my god! When it was Mars. a thing. Yeah, I remember And I Mars. still have it. It's beautiful. That's great, man. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, so what's next? Um, we have a lot of touring to do. Good for um, you. Some headline shows, some festivals. It's going to be great. Man, that is great. That is yeah. great, man. Congratulations, man. And again, you. you guys killed it tonight. Thank Sounded you. great. The amps are awesome. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for everything. And thank you. See y'all.